topic of PowerPoint new features, I want to talk to you about some drawing tools they've added into PowerPoint. Now, this is stuff we normally encounter in other programs like Illustrator, a little bit in Photoshop, even InDesign has these tools. Uh, not something we've seen a lot of in, in Microsoft products, but they've added it in PowerPoint 2013 and it allows us to work with shapes. So what I have here is just a <clears throat> kind of a crude drawing of a, of a, of a this is a, a DJ called uh, Dead Mouse. That's neither here nor there. What I want to talk to you about is the shape tool. So I've made the logo out of a series of different shapes and I want these shapes to interact with one another. For example, I've got this circle and another circle behind it. And I'm going to hold shift to select both of them. What I'd like is I'd like to use this circle in the back to cut out the circle in the front to create this kind of half moon shape for the mouth of this little mouse. So if I selected both shapes, you go to the format tab, there's actually something here called merge shapes. Now it doesn't just mean merge shapes, it's more like how these shapes interact with one, one another. Notice we have union to combine them, uh, combined, which is kind of like this thing called a compound shape. Fragment divides them all up. Or you have subtract, which actually takes, and it does matter the order that you select them. So for example, because I selected this one first, then held shift and selected this one, it'll use that shape to subtract. If I selected it in the opposite direction, so the back one first, and then it subtracted as the other way. But what it allows us to do is it allows us to create pretty intricate shapes in PowerPoint without actually having to draw them manually, which is, which is great. So other ones we can use, just to show you an example, I'm going to select all these circles that are making up the back of this shape here. There they are. This time I'm going to use uh, Union. Combines them all together. Then maybe I want to be able to see the background uh, through these three pieces. So I'm going to select all of the pieces and this time I'm going to choose Combined. You can set the fill color, you can set your outline color, you can choose everything you would in a normal shape. So it allows us to create these intricate shapes in PowerPoint in just a few clicks as you just saw. So try it out. That's the new merge shapes feature in PowerPoint 2013.